all these uh, singers. Yeah. So they work with the devil. They work with devils, yeah. yeah. There's this guy, he was a, he, he was a fisherman. He used yeah. to fish, but he never gets fish. He never be rich. So he wanted to get rich because he was a poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then all he, what, what he did, he went to these people, to these uh, witchcraft people. He told him before he become rich, you have to sacrifice someone that you love. Sacrifice someone that you love, like your man, your own, your own mom. Your so, mom. Yeah, so basically this guy said, no, I don't want to kill my mom. So he said, I, I cannot make you rich until you do that. So this guy continued with his fishing and everything. And he never gained anything. And then he said, you know what, let me just go to my mom. And then he went to his mom. And then his mom was old anyway. He gave it to her. And then she said, I wanted to be rich, so I went to this guy and said he's gonna be rich, but I have to sacrifice you. So obviously, for the love of the mom in it, she wants her kid to be to have whatever he wants. So she she agreed for him to kill her. And then this guy, he went back to the guy and said, "Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice my mom." And he said, "No problem. Just let us know once you sacrifice her." And then he went and sacrificed his mom, his own mother, basically. He went and sacrificed his own mother. And then he became very rich. He's the one that actually has a boat, like few boats, the one that goes and gets the fish and come back. He became so rich. He bought a big mansion. And all he had to do is to sacrifice her mom. And his guess mom, what? Yeah, his mom. to sacrifice his mom. Sacrifice his mom, and then the, um, the witchcraft guy. Uh, the witchcraft guy. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So he told him, "You have to bury your mom in your bedroom." So he buried his mom in his bedroom. So the guy told him, "For you to continue to become very rich, all you have to do every night, you have to sleep on top of your mom's grave." <coughs> Allah is true. Allah is true. And that guy will never be happy then. That's the thing, you know, you become rich. So you don't know like this guy is very rich, he has everything, but you don't know. He has no peace when he goes to bed. He so, has to sleep on top of his mom's grave. But he has mentioned he has everything that you see. Mm -hmm. Like everything, everything, money. Mention port cars. Why he cannot go to a different place? He can move, or why he cannot go on like holidays or different places traveling? You cannot. So basically, you sold your soul to them. Once you don't do whatever they do, either they kill you or they humiliate you. They're gonna take everything from you, and you become like a uh, what mental. you call marata, like a mentor, someone just running around on the street. They're gonna make you that. So that means they don't looking for you. But you looking for them, isn't it? Yeah. You but they don't there. want this kind of fame or money or what they just want to humiliate you. They just want mm -hmm. you to come away like to go far away from Allah. Yeah, they wanna destroy your life. They just want you to go to Jahannam. That's it. All Allah will never forgive you. What happened to the guy? Did he sleep on the on the bed? What about if he goes to holiday? He doesn't go anywhere, he has to sleep on top of his mom's grave. Every night? Every single night. So this guy has no peace. How can you sleep in your... How can you even sleep in your mom's grave? How can you even find like proper peace when you're sleeping? 